Joined by Generals Head Coach Scott Abel following a big uh, conference victory over Guilford. Uh, Coach, a few comments about today's game? Yeah, you know, what, what a great team effort. You know, it, it, it's uh, in these situations when you see your whole team kind of come together to, to rally around those guys who are injured and the guys we're not playing with. Um, man, it, it's just, it, it tells you that, you know, our guys are doing the right things and, and, and we're taking the right steps because to have as many young kids on the field today and to beat a quality team the way we beat them today, yeah, I, I really, I couldn't be prouder. And that's, it, it says a lot about our seniors, you know, how they've led and um, that, what they bring to this team. How about the play of the two quarterbacks you played today, uh, Drew Richardson and Trey Lachlan? And, uh, you know, really didn't make too many mistakes in terms of, you know, running the offense. They didn't put the ball on the ground, you know, really ran the offense efficiently and, and over 500 rushing yards again this week. Yeah, you know, they really did. We talked, I thought they were both talented kids, you know, and I thought we had a shot to, to be a pretty good offense this week with them. Um, the key was, you know, uh, you know, where would the stumbles be, right? You know, with the lack of experience, and to give them both credit, they really they took care of the football, and they they took what the defense gave them. You know, when when it was a pull and a keep for them, they they, they did a great job running, take securing the the football. When it was a pitch out wide, they did a great job there, and uh, and then when it was a give inside, they did a great job of reading it. They really didn't, and, and that's not easy. I mean, you know, people see our offense like, oh, we just run the football, but there are reads just about in every play. There's a decision to be made on every player. Our quarterback's just not opening up and handing the football off. So extremely proud of them uh, and their development. Uh, uh, you know, they've learned a lot under Matt in these, in these first, you know, eight, nine weeks of their career here at quarterback, you know, because Drew wasn't there last year. And so um, I'm excited for their future. I really am. And a little bit about Josh Brees, 223 rushing yards, four wow, touchdowns. Yeah. How about your freshman running back? Yeah, he, well, we, I think we've all known now for really since uh, the Hopkins week, he's pretty good, right? He, he's, he's a talented young man who, you know, he, just what a, what a competitor. You know, that, that's what I've learned about, about Josh in, early in his career. He's a competitor. He, he comes out of a great high school program, used to winning, and he expects when he gets on the field uh, to win, and uh, you, you see that come out in him. And, uh, you know, I think it's, I'm saying it mildly when I say his future is extremely bright. And, and uh, he wants to learn, he wants to get better. So, uh, you know, congrats to him. And, and those guys blocking, I thought we blocked extremely well for him on the perimeter and, and up inside. And a little bit about your defense, uh, you know, able to shut down Guilford for the most part. Gave up a couple big, uh, you know, big plays, but aside from that, really made Guilford work for things. Well, we really did a really, you know, they, they did a fantastic job. And, you know, we had guys injured over there as well, you know, Thomas Freeland not playing. Um, you know, and he's he's a heck of a player for us. So you know, Davis Walter stepping in and, and really playing well, and our seniors around him, Michael uh, and Gray and Dominic and, and Max Garrett, and then getting getting a pass rush. I mean, getting to the quarterback again. That's been a big key for us this year, right? And uh, really proud of those guys up front as well. well. Thanks so much, Coach, and good luck next week against Hampton Sydney. Thanks, Brian.